Hey everybody, welcome to another dark and light video. Now today it's going to be a lot of fun because this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. As you can see, right now I am on my wyvern up into the floating islands because there is a uh, altar of darkness. Now, for as long as my existence of playing dark and light, I've never really known what that is. But recently I have figured it out. So basically, if you guys have noticed, sometimes from meteors you get these elemental cores. So they could be the wind, uh, whatever else, one's fire, dark. Um, but these, if you take the right cores to these uh, altars of darkness, you can make a little orb. Which you'll be able to see in a second here. So you can make that orb. You can also make uh, Mythical Kibble, but I'm not here for that. So basically, if you make one of these, it like kind of starts up the altar. And in this world, there are three altars. There is one at the floating islands. There is one of the volcano. And there is one in the mountains near like the human settlement. And <clears throat> here, you can see me activate the first one. If you activate all three, you start up like a meteor event. So here is the volcano one. So quick story. So right here, I kind of know where it is. It's on the mountain above me. But something that I didn't show you guys on camera is I've been here for nearly 30 minutes looking for this thing. Uh, because this thing just doesn't want to show up. Um, I even looked at a map. Uh, the map pointed me exactly to where it was, and it's not where the map told me it was. So, yeah, I've been here for quite a while, but I did figure it out. It is up here, right here. So let's quickly land. Now, I did have to lure the fire elementals away from here, but I did manage to do that. And here is the second altar of darkness. So let's put another one of these bad boys in, start up that one. So that is the second one. The elf altar has been activated, summoning dark creatures, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't read it. Let's get back on the wyvern, and we're going to head to the third. All right, so we are here at the third. So like I said, this one's in the mountains near the human settlement. And luckily, this one doesn't have anything near it. It doesn't have any elementals. It has some wolves, but a little bit down south near the stairs. Nothing to worry about. So if we start this up. The dark forces have begun their invasion on the sacred path. Now... Here's the thing. It's actually not as exciting as you'd think. Uh, everything just kind of goes dark. There's a bunch of like shooty laser thingies. But essentially what this does, at least to my best of knowledge, is it rains meteors more often. So instead of like meteors coming down once eight hours, it comes down every 20 minutes or something. That's just a complete guess. Take that with a grain of salt, but... From what I've seen, that's essentially what it does. But it's not really as exciting as you'd think. Again, the, the sky kind of gets red and then more meteors come down. But here's another thing is right now I can't farm the meteors because I have only one wyvern. I don't want to lose it. Not to mention I'm not wearing my best gear. So essentially, we wasted all those cores just to start up this event for the video. But I'm not actually going to utilize it because I can't really utilize it i mean obviously i'll pick up one or two if i'm able to if the mon if i can lure the monsters away but for now there's not really much i can do in the sense of farming but for sure and also you guys gotta remember this is single player it's not multiplayer in multiplayer it's a lot easier to utilize the meteors right now it's not but um who knows all right so i think we have a meteor here that i could quickly nab so that one seems to be gone but the wavering is flying through the skies like Sanic. Okay, there's a meteor right here. It doesn't look like anything's near. Now, of course, it's always safe to check. It's always safe to check. But, um, it doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead. Do this one up. Are you serious? Is that rock in the way? Let's break the rock. <clears throat> if that, is, this is either a glitched meteor right, or this stupid rock is in the way. I'm thinking the rock is in the way. Yeah, it was in the way. Okay, well, that was, eh, okay, or um, I could get th that or 0.5 milliseconds, but um, okay, here, now we're at the horse stables. Now, remember a couple episodes ago, I told you guys that the horse stable is pretty much like an XP farm. You can just kill the horses, 
move, come back, and the horses will be back here. Yeah, so they're pretty much XP farms for also your animals if you come over here. So I'm just going to sit here with my wyver wyvern and, uh, you know, uh, level up a little bit. Although, it doesn't give you as much as you think. Alright, so guys, now, this is probably the most exciting part of the episode. We're going to start with uh, some magic. So, oh, there are spiders everywhere. Let me kill those spiders with the amazing crossbow, which I've grown to like. I've realized the difference now, between the bow and the crossbow. The crossbow is just accurate. Like, really accurate. But, so I'm really starting to love it. But, um, we're going to start doing some magic here. So, last episode, I'm pretty sure we made that magic table, right? Well, now we're actually going to start playing with some of it. So, we're going to try to make the wall of lightning. We're going to try to make the wall of fire. We're going to make the summoning pool. And I don't know if we'll be able to unlock it, but if we're able to unlock the spell tower and the whatever, the spell stove, whatever it's called. And here's a bargash. We're going to try to get... Okay. So... Hello? My game crashed. My game crashed. Uh, hopefully I don't lose any progress. That's going to suck. Okay. Well, game is back. I had to redo a couple of things, like uh, like gathering materials. Like I lost a lot of wood, but you know what? It's fine. Um, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Let's go fill up some more water. Yeah, those bottles of essence are really important, but let's get a second stove here. Now, for some reason, a lot of magic takes a lot of copper. I don't know why magic specifically likes copper. Maybe because it conducts electricity or something, which hopefully that's accurate. Uh... But it takes a lot of copper, so I'm going to build a second furnace here, start getting that up real quick. Alright, 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 so what do we got here? So we got some copper up in here, I'm pretty sure we can make the summoning pool, which is basically you could summon elementals with elemental cores or something? I might be wrong, but we could also, yeah, with like soul, soul, soul stones or soul suppressors, small, okay, you know, you guys know what I mean. But, uh, we could also craft the wall of fire, I'm pretty sure. So, let's craft that real quick. So, I'm hoping those are really powerful spells. I don't know if they're worth... No, we unlocked Fireball 2. Maybe. So, I don't know if we have, but I thought it, we did. So, we're probably not going to make that now, because uh, I think it's pretty expensive. But, we'll probably have to do that sometime later. But, let's go ahead and grab some quartz sand and see what is up. And then we will make some more things. Like I said, the small spell tower, I want to try to make that, but of course we need to level up. But let's first make the lightning, and let's make some of this spell generator ammo. So it's pretty much like um, energy for it. Now the spell towers work in a really interesting way. So basically, you have your stove generator, which has a certain radius. Any spell towers in that radius get powered by the spell stove and in the crafting table for the magic which you're seeing right now you can kind of craft those weird bottle things with liquids color liquids in them and then those things or maybe it's the opposite way you, you you power one of them and you stick those color flasks in another and then when anything comes near they go bye bye with the shooty shooty and they're really strong which i'll show you guys later but there we have the small spell tower and the spell stove and the summoning pool and the lightning and the fire. So we'll play with each of those a little bit because magic is so fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and place the summoning pool down. Uh, I don't really know where to put it. I'll, honestly pr I'll probably break it later and re-put it, but for now, let's just put it right here. Uh, that's such an awkward I don't like how it floats on the ground. I'll definitely have to move that. But, um... I don't really know 100% how those things work, so we'll have to do it in another episode. But let's look at the spell generator. Pretty sure this is where you actually put the spells or the... I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll figure it out. But uh, let's just put this right here for now. Once again, everything is going to move probably because... Yeah. But uh, I think I forgot my materials. Let's go ahead. We got to grab those. And we will have to make some flasks in a little bit. So yeah, okay, the spell tower then takes the uh, 
those crystals and then you actually put those weird colored flasks in the thing. So the elementals hurry up, those go in there and we're going to have to make plenty of those because we're going to have to power these towers. Although these are made defense from other players, which um, it's single player. But look at this, guys. This is so cool. And I wonder, does it hurt me? Okay, yeah, it hurts me. And I think I'm going to die. So I, I just killed myself. But at least, you know, that is a really strong thing. Now, this looks really cool. You make a giant wall. That looks really cool, actually. Wow. Oh, I got one in my house. That's not good. But I have made, or I'm going to make... These fire essence, so these things will help do some damage. Oh god, I'm stuck. And I'm really low health, but let's see. Good, uh, no, 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 we, we, I think we stick them in the other one, right? E no, no, not, not, oh, wait, why are they, oh my god, I didn't pick them up, I didn't pick them up. That is so annoying. Let's go back here and pick them up. Uh, how did I not pick that up? That is, that is just kind of annoying. Bam, bam. Put that right in there. And then I think. Oh, okay. So let's see how this works. It shoots. They, oh, man. There it goes. Man, I knew it was strong. I didn't know it was that fast. There it goes the goblin. Let's try it on this panther. Come on. Okay. I think we got to put it to all, right? Oh, that is strong. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here though guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a support on the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.